Good morning. Welcome back to City Line. In this last segment, we are talking with two individuals who have the inside scoop, as we say, on the Tacoma Film Festival. Please join me in welcoming Laura Marshall. You are the Tacoma Film Festival director. Welcome, my dear. Yes, thanks for having me. Great to have you on the white leather couch. Yes, it's quite cozy. Isn't it quite cozy? Mm -hmm. Sitting next to the ever effervescent Zach Powers, who is the director of marketing for Tacoma Film Festival and our favorite theater, the Grand Cinema. Welcome back, Zach. Thanks very much. Good to have you here. All right. This is, this is an important thing to us. This is this is no you know small potatoes. So Laura, when we think about the word festival, it implies all kinds of events, activities, and fun. So what makes the Tacoma Film Festival a festival and not just a bunch of films we sit and watch? Yeah, it's a bunch of films where filmmakers are showing their films for the first time or they haven't been in theaters yet. And there's lots of Q&As with the directors, cast, and other filmmakers um, so the audience can get involved with the filmmakers and the filmmaking process. We also have a few workshops. Um, we have a casting workshop on Saturday morning that's free um, and you can learn on how to cast a film properly instead of just casting your neighbor. Um, <laughs> your family. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and we also had, uh, this past week, we had an animation uh, workshop with a Disney animator, too. And so we try to involve uh, the audience into more than just film. That's fabulous. Yeah. Wow. That, I mean, talk about you guys have come a long way, a casting workshop. Mm -hmm. I'd like to be there just to see how many actors show up to get the intel, don't you think? Definitely. Absolutely. Okay, so Zach, this year's film festival has a very well-known special guest. Uh, can you share with us who it is and why you chose yeah, this person? Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of, of coming a long way, this year, uh, for the first time, we, we have kind of a really a legitimate film icon um, visiting uh, the film festival in Leonard Malton, who um, a lot of people know from Entertainment Tonight and yes. his encyclopedias on film. And he's just, for literally 30, 40 years, has been one of our nation's premier kind of, not only critics, but also scholars and, and minds when it, comes, hmm. when it comes to film. So, so Leonard Malton will be visiting the film festival Friday and Saturday. There's a couple different events that he'll be uh, taking part in. One is... Uh, Friday night primetime event where we'll be uh, having dinner from, from Maxwell's and watching this new film called The Two Faces of January, which stars Kirsten Dunst and Viggo Mortensen. And then Malton will be leading a, a post-film discussion in the actual theater at the Grand. And so it'll be a really intimate, just kind of conversation the way we would have all the time at the Grand, but Leonard Malton will be leading it. The next day we'll be having a reception, a, a book signing, and watching one of his favorite classic films, which is The Two Faces of January. Mm. And to your question, um, I think which was kind of why Malton, yeah. he has that, that fun, people know him from Entertainment Tonight, and kind of, um, kind of real snappy, smart reviews, but he's also... Um, a really, really distinguished uh, historian of film and philosopher of film and really brings together a lot of things um, that we do at the Grand all year with discussing film right. and using film as a jump off for bigger um, social and cultural conversations. So we think that he embodies kind of the fun of independent film, but then also the dialogue and um, kind of intellectual yeah. stimulant that we do uh, really take seriously at the Grand and at the film festival. He's, he's the full meal deal. Yeah. Now, we have some clips of some of the films that we're going to run. So I'm going to let, um, I'm going to let you both kind of jump in here right. and tell me what these films are. And let's play Leonard Moulton. I want, I want you both to kind of give me a little critic, a little critique okay. here of these films. So go ahead and roll that film footage. Here we are. What is this? This is Jump. Um, and it's... it's faster, <laughs> faster. Two Faces of January, that's a Leonard Maltin. Damn Keeper. <laughs> wow, this is quick. What's this? Enmity Gage, Find Your Way, uh, Box Walk, Finding Hollywood, Darrow, Dog and Butterfly, job, Laura. Uh, Vision Quest, <laughs> Fault. Okay, and so are these, <laughs> in, are, are these indie films, or what types of movies are they? Right. Documentaries? Uh, these are all independent films. This is a mixture of all of the films that we're playing at the film festival. So some of these are local, from Tacoma, from Canada. Some are critically acclaimed. Acclaimed, you just saw it, Sally Hawkins, who yes. was Oscar nominated. Um, there's Sir Ian McKellen. Uh, yes. Yes. So it's quite a right, wide range of independent films. 
Um, O.J. the Musical, which <laughs> promises to, it's a hysterical kind of documentary mockumentary about the creating of this really quirky musical. How many? Uh, there's mm-hmm. 103 total films. How many foreign films do you think there are? About 20. There's, yeah, roughly 20. Okay. Uh, most of them are shorts. We do okay. have uh, Zero Motivation, which is from Israel, okay. uh, which is foreign and subtitled. And, and then what, about 35, 35, 40% would be local or regional? Local or regional mm-hmm. films, yeah. which you guys are yeah. known for because you have the film, the film festival mm-hmm. in terms of the screens. And I lost the word I'm looking for in terms of the people who come and make... The competition, that's it. All right, but let's go on for a second. Because you've got some different locations for screens that we need to get out. So, Zach, give us those locations and why did you choose them? Sure. So, um, every year, TFF has multiple locations. And sometimes we'll we'll jump around a little bit. But this year, we've gone with kind of some of our uh, long-term TFF partners. So, yeah. screenings will be every day um, beginning today, Thursday the 9th, um, until next Thursday, which is the 15th mm-hmm. or 16th? The 16th, yeah. Um, and so there'll be screenings every day at the Grand, and then um, this uh, Saturday and Sunday there'll be screenings all day at the Museum of Glass, oh. um, which is a great place to see yeah. independent film. We put a lot of kind of the artsy, there'll be some animated films there, some sci-fi films mm-hmm. there. And if you purchase an admission to the Museum of Glass, you get in for free to the screening. So that's yeah. a great benefit. Win win. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, on Monday, we'll be going over to the Tacoma, Tacoma Community College, where we'll have um, a lot of our short film packages. And, and this year, we've put um, the 253 film shorts and the regional film shorts at TCC. Part of the reason for that is their auditorium um, sits close to 300, which makes it um, three times bigger than the biggest theater at the Grand, and those can be some of the biggest uh, um, audiences for TFF films. Mm -hmm. It's all the people that come out to support local films. It's sort of like a um, you know, like an album release party right. for your favorite band or something Perfect. when these films finally screen. And then on Tuesday, finally, we'll have um, three free screenings at University of Washington Tacoma mm. um, on campus there. And, and those are free, sponsored by the uh, by the UW. And what is that mm. building that they're, they're, they're in there? It's a Kerwin Auditorium. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you mentioned, you mentioned free, but are some of them, do we need tickets for? Uh, at UWT, it's first come, first okay. serve. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. And all right, and the festival pa- passes are for sale right now, correct? Mm-hmm. And how do we get those? You can get them online at TacomaFilmFestival.com or at the Grand Cinema Box Office. Fabulous. Okay. So if I want each of you to pick one film. If I had to see just one film, what would it be, Zach? I'm going to go with a film called Zero Motivation, which okay. is um, an Israeli film about... Um, um, young women soldiers who are in the Israeli army, and it's Ooh. kind of this. Uh, but it's it's not necessarily like a low film, like it is. But it's also like this kind of perfect classic indie film in that it's kind of a, a dark comedy, okay. and, and um, it's kind of I th- my expectation. It's going to be kind of like mm-hmm. girls meets Mash meets Office Space okay. type of a film. It's and very it's, honest. Uh, um, and it's, you laugh, you cry. And I think it's won. Did it win an award at Tribeca? Yeah, it won Best Narrative okay. at um, Tribeca. It, nice. is in, it is the subtitle. It's in, it's in Hebrew, but it looks phenomenal. I, think, right. for I happen that. to love subtitles because it kind of um, I read fast, so I love it. Okay, <laughs> what would I need to see based upon Laura's recommendation? I would say Kumiko the Treasure Hunter. Mm. It's only playing once on Sunday. It's about a Japanese woman who finds a VHS copy of Fargo, thinks it's real, and travels <laughs> to North Dakota to find the treasure. It's great. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So speaking of casting your family, now we're back to the Coen brothers, which everything yes. begins and ends with the Coen brothers when it comes to film. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Who do we need to thank, Zach? Um, always need to thank um, all the volunteers at okay. the Grand Cinema and it's the same volunteer team that for a week helps us do all these things we need to all do right. to staff these venues. The Grand Cinema is um, a nonprofit, and so we're led by an awesome board of directors who are right. local teachers, business leaders, etc., who are great. And then just everyone for you know Being supporting there. the Grand yeah. and, and TFF and a- anybody who's the touched door. this. Yeah. Was that? Mm-hmm. Thank you both so much for being here today. Thank you. And so um, much as for Leonard us. would say, I'll see you at the movies. Well, that wraps up another great segment of City Line. It's always a pleasure and a privilege to be in your home. We've given you some really great things to think about in this last hour, so go out there and be a part of our tapestry, and above all, pay it forward. And when you come back, as always, we'll be waiting for you right here at City Line. Take care.